I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're speaking with author Henning R. Jensen. He is the author of a book called Create Your Life, Quantum Physics Explains How. He is a master in bridging the gap between science and spirituality. He dives into quantum physics to help show us how our thoughts, our feelings, and our beliefs interact with our personal energy to shape our reality. We are delighted to have Henning join us today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Sweet Spire Literature Management for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel. Henning, thank you so much for joining us here today on our show. Thank you, Logan Crawford, for having me. I'm, I'm delighted. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Your book is really a great manual to explain the connection between science and spirituality. Tell your tell the folks at home, give them the big picture, tell them what it's all about. Yeah, so what well, well, quantum physics, you know, I have a background, uh, I have a master of science, I'm an electrical engineer. I do also have a, uh, I'm an enterprise architect from Carnegie Mellon. So my background is technical, right? So looking into what quantum physics can explain us in, in, in terms of the life we live and create, it's, it's, it's fantastic because we know now that everything is built of energy. So in the old days, they would say uh, energy is when you're moving or when you're laying higher. Mm -hmm. But now we know that everything, all building blocks are made of energy. And what does that mean? That means that when you look into an atom, that everything is built up. There's, there's a nucleus and an, an electron that's circulating like this. When you open up those subparticles, those particles that build up the atoms, there's nothing there. There's only energy. And that means that if you look at the American prairie and there's a tornado going across, the only way that you can see it, it becomes visible for your eyes is that it takes up uh, dirt. So that, that makes it visible for us. But And you know that if, if you drive on the prairie and you see a tornado like that, you're not going to go towards it because you're not going to penetrate it. But if you think about this tornado going through a, a, a clean room, you wouldn't be able to see it because there's no dirt that's that's up and boiled up, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, again, you can't go through this. So it's the same thing when my hand tries to go through the table that I'm standing with. There's, I cannot because these energy tornadoes, they're so powerful. And that's mm -hmm. why we, we get a, a feeling that there's, there's actually a, you know, solid material. But there's no solid material. There's only energy and movement. It's interesting. So we learn in physics that an object in motion tends to mm -hmm. stay in motion and an object in rest tends to stay at rest. Yeah. But in quantum physics and in your view, mm -hmm. every object really is in motion. We just can't happen to see it, right? Yeah, that's right. Even your Mother Earth, she's also in motion and we don't, you know, we don't think about it, but we're moving. Exactly. How does this affect our lives? How do we harness this energy to change the trajectory of our lives? Yeah, so the very important thing is to, to know that when you have a thought, you emit uh, energy waves, and also for a feeling, you emit um, energy waves from your heart. So, and that energy will actually have an influence on the, on the environment you're in. Kind of like, you know, if you drop two stones in the water after each other, the, the waves will interfere. And that was, that's what happens. So when we, when we are feeling loved and we are in a great situation where we just we love to be and do what we love to do, then the frequency we admit is higher than when we are sad and depressed. So we can measure that, that, that positive thinking and, and positive emotions actually have a higher frequency. And that means that they have a higher amount of energy. So where does important. spirituality and religion play into all of this? Yeah, yeah. for me to see, uh, uh, you know, what gives us life is actually this energy. And to me, that is the, the spirit, you know, that, that provides us. Because think about it, the table that I'm standing with, the essence in there could actually be in my body. So the only difference between the table and, and, and my body is that there's this energy that gives life to it, right? So it's the same building blocks. So there is a spirituality that actually provides the uh, the, the energy that make, forms life, right? Now, in your book, you talk about four practical exercises to help individuals create their desired realities. Tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about these exercises. 
Yeah. So, so what we know, if, if you learn to love yourself, you actually emit the best chemicals into the body. So you give the, your organs the best environment to live in, to mm. thrive. And also when you, when you emit uh, positive thoughts, you, you create an energy field around you. That's, that's very important. So all our cells are navigating because they're talking to each other. So the genes do not provide the, the, the communication. You know, they just provide the materials for the, for the cells to evolve. The, the cells actually talk to each other via electromagnetic communication, just kind of like we have on our cell phone, that's electromagnetic um, communication. So we know that this field around us is actually uh, um, important for us to, to keep out a high energy field around us. So kind of like when, when the birds, you know, are moving in, in, together, they, they speak via this electromagnetic um, communication. So they create a field around them so they can navigate as one unit. And that's how our cells also do. They navigate as one unit. They have to coordinate all the processes that have to take place. So, so go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so it's, it's important to be actually aware that there is an energy field around us because um, you know, when there's, a, there's, a, there's when there's a, um, a current running, it'll, it'll create a field, and that's mm -hmm. why there's a lot of current running in, in us. You know, the doctor Jerry Tennant, you know, has, has put this down and showed us how how much current is actually running due to this communication between the cells. So mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah. Does it all start up in your brain, your mind? Can you control it all? Yeah, I mean, I mean we can say that that. that we, we start with a thought, right? So thoughts actually create emotions. So that's why we, when we can change our thoughts, we can actually change the emotions. But one more important thing is our subconscious, our beliefs, because we have these programming that's put into our subconscious. And our subconscious is actually running the life, our life most of the time. They, it's like Eckhart Tolle, you know, they say you can stay stay aware 5% of the time. 95% of the time you're actually thinking ahead or thinking you know back in time so uh, so it's very important that that when the subconscious takes over you need to know what kind of pro programs are running in there and those programs are usually laid in when you are between zero and seven because at that age you're very you easily you take in information and you store it and you don't have a filter so to speak so you cannot you just take it in as truth so whatever you're told between zero and seven you will actually act that way because you believe that's the truth. So we really actually, need to reprogram our brains. We have to change those scripts. If we were yeah. given negative thoughts, if we've been given a negative outlook, if we have a gloomy or fatalistic view on life, that's yeah. going to affect everything around us because we're part of the energy of the universe. So yeah. how do you rewrite those scripts in your brain that you said are imprinted at such a young age? Yeah. So actually, repetition is how we do it. So mm -hmm. the subconscious mind, it, it needs to know it again and again in order to, to uh, change the program. So when you were a young child, you know, you would get up on your bike and you would try to bike. And it was very difficult and you had to really focus. But at some point, suddenly, suddenly you know, your subconscious took over. So you could bike without thinking about it. Like when you drive the car down the freeway, sometimes you miss an exit because you're thinking about something else. Mm -hmm. Your subconscious knows how to drive the car. But it's going to drive your life too if you don't wake up. So we need to, to be aware. Are these programs actually, do they fit what we need, what we, how we want our life to evolve? So when we become aware of how we react and we think, ah, I don't want to react like that, then you know you've got a program to change. Yeah. yeah. So it's so important to have, I would think, good daily affirmations that mm -hmm. I am strong, I am healthy, uh, I am kind. Are those the kind of thoughts we should have to try to replace the scripts that it might be negative? Yeah. So let's say, well, I meet a lot of people who say they have a hard time loving themselves because we've not learned that. And it's so important, both for the chemicals in our, in our body and also the electrical field, because the unconditional love is actually the highest frequency you can measure that comes out from, from that is emitted out from us, right? So, so this unconditional love, and we can go in and, and love ourselves unconditionally. So we have to love ourselves, um, not based on what we do, but just the person we are. Yeah. And that's when you can start getting the best, uh, both um, the energy field and the, the chemicals in the body. So, so if you have a hard time uh, loving yourself, it's, it's a sentence like, I love myself immensely. You would write that down on a piece of paper every day 
for 21 days, you fill that piece of paper out, I love myself immensely, that will change your biochemistry and your electrical field. It will change your life simply because it's so uh, effective and energy wise. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Great advice. One of the things you mentioned in your book is also bridging the gap between the left and the right hemisphere of your brain. Tell the folks at home a little bit what that's all about. Yeah, so, so what we need, we, need we, we talk about feminine and masculine energy. So, so the, the feminine energy is, is when the, the right brain hemisphere lights up. You know, that's when we take care of others and, and do things for us and, and you know, and we, we are loving and so forth. Now, when we work hard, hard working or using or uh, solving mathematical problems, the, the, the left hemisphere lights up. So the left brain and the right side of your body is your masculine. And the, and the right hemisphere, brain hemisphere, and the left side of your body is your feminine side. So it has nothing to do with gender, not at all. It has nothing to do with gender. We all have both feminine and masculine energies. And when we are able to balance that, when we can act whole-brained, that means that we can both, you know, take care of people and, and be, be, be uh, loving, you know, but we can also uh, actually execute. So we need to both be able to execute, do stuff, and also do it with a, with a sense of, uh, you know, good behavior in terms of other people. It's fascinating stuff. It is detailed in a book called You Create Your Life. Quantum Physics explains how if you want to change your life, if you want to take control of your life, this is the book for you because it is a roadmap of sorts. It will help bridge the gap between science and spirituality and make you one with the universe and have you filling this brain with positive thoughts that will emanate through your body. Before we leave you today, Henning, is there one last thing you'd like the audience to know? Yeah, I think uh, being aware of your thoughts and feelings, what are, what are your thoughts and feelings primarily? Because when you become aware of what you're thinking, and uh, are you actually uh, being hard on yourself, you need to let that go because it's going to ruin your chemistry inside and it's going to you know, also have an impact on your energy field. I mean, no, our cells love a great energy field because that's how they navigate. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. People need yeah. to fill their heads with good affirmations like that. Henning, thank yeah. you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.